mining operations feature a range of vehicles. These vary from heavy mobile plant, such as trucks, excavators and loaders, to light vehicles and even golf carts used at mining camps. Each vehicle forms part of a complex traffic management system. This video is one in a set of three focusing on the importance of traffic management and how safe systems, safe vehicles and safe people can contribute to a safe mining operation. Human and organisational factors directly affect the systems, vehicles and co-workers that we rely on every day. A split second lapse in concentration can write off more than just expensive equipment. The interactions of vehicles and people present numerous safety hazards, resulting in serious incidents, including collisions, runaways, rollovers, and vehicles over edges. In this video, we're exploring the importance of safe vehicles. Equipment failure can occur when a vehicle's steering, braking, hydraulic, and other critical systems are pushed beyond the purpose for which they are designed. The source of failure can often be attributed to poor equipment selection, inadequate maintenance, or inappropriate operation. Let's look at vehicle selection. All mobile equipment used in mining operations must be fit for purpose. Just because a truck operates safely on a flat highway doesn't mean it can handle the conditions of an underground decline. The original equipment manufacturer, or OEM, will supply a user manual specifying certain working limits for each vehicle. However, mining operations still need to risk assess the vehicle's suitability for its operating environment, especially before any proposed modifications to its functionality. Vehicles must be maintained and repaired by trained and competent people. Maintenance staff workers should be aware of the environmental conditions at their mining operation and take appropriate measures to address excess wear and tear on vehicles. For example, a grader raking the pan at a salt mine will suffer corrosion faster than the same grader smoothing gravel at a copper mine. Each situation requires a different maintenance program. Regular and effective examination and servicing of all critical components is required. Suitable tests should be conducted on vehicle brake and steering systems prior to the vehicles being returned to service. Operators should be trained and assessed as competent in the use of a vehicle before being allowed to operate it. Routine pre-start checks are an opportunity for the operator to identify concerns at the beginning of their shift. Pre-start checks are more than a tick and flick exercise. Remember, the operator is responsible for their own safety and the safety of others when operating equipment. If you have any concerns, alert your supervisor immediately. Operators should also be aware of safe operating limits and always run their vehicle within those limits. For example, operators must understand the importance of selecting the required gear and speed prior to accessing a ramp or decline. They should apply engine braking and retarders if installed and avoid riding the brakes, which may significantly reduce braking capability. Heavy duty fitter, Ross Campbell, was taking his first ride in a service truck when the braking system failed while travelling down an underground decline. I had done the, the theory component of the service truck ticketing and this was the first ride in the service truck down the hole to deliver uh, parts and equipment to the underground workshop. We set off into the decline and for a short time things were pretty normal, there was nothing untoward at all. It got to the stage in a very short amount of time that I looked across to the driver and said I think we're going a bit fast, to which he replied that he had no brakes. It was pretty obvious there was nothing left to do but put it in the wall. The driver had the presence of mind to veer to the other side of the decline and we hit the right hand side decline wall at a hell of a pace. The truck had wedged itself in the decline, which was one of the reasons why it didn't roll. 
and I managed to get out of the door, went around, climbed under the truck to get around to the driver's side where the driver was uh, trapped in the, the driver's seat. Other people from the workshop were pretty close behind us. They arrived on the scene very quickly and we took steps to uh, remove the steering wheel from the truck in an effort to alleviate some of the driver's pain. What had happened was that he had had an artificial hip replacement. The force of the impact from the truck collapsing in onto his legs had driven his femur up through the ball joint that was replaced and it exploded the bone around the ball joint. I was the passenger for the first ride down in the truck and in the blink of an eye it changed from a steady first gear descent to a hell of a ride. The most important thing you do before you disappear down the decline in a vehicle is just ensure that your seatbelt is on. Ensure that the pre-start's done. Ensure you do the brake test, that everything's working before you disappear down the decline. There's nowhere to go. Safe vehicles are a critical part of a safe mining operation. Each selected vehicle must be fit for purpose and suitable for the conditions at your site. Operators should be competent in the use of each vehicle for its respective application. Vehicles must be regularly maintained and repaired to an appropriate standard. The correct selection, maintenance and operation of vehicles are vital to the safety of your mining operation. Remember, everyone wants to go home safe from work. <laughs>